Hello, hi, welcome in everyone. It continues to be a Monday, the 15th uh, of April 2024. We are back with some Pokemon of the Ultra Moon variety. Let me know if the audio is good, by the way. If you need more Ultra Moon, that can be arranged. Oh, you're not busy? Wow, she just stormed into the room. I was like, did I not get my hug? Oh, okay, well, excuse me one minute. I've got I wrote, people watching. I wrote her on the notepad. <laughs> <laughs> I had a show on the notepad for evidence. She's like, I got people watching. Who sold me out? Hmm? Who sold me out? I tattled Dammit Jack. <laughs> oh, God. It's the 14th. What do you mean it's the 14th twist? Today is the 15th. Did I say 14th? Now I don't even know what happened. Look, I've been thrown off now. Welcome in, by the way, Jack. How are you doing, man? It's not a Monday, you are. YouTube, don't be fooled. <laughs> I mean, let's just... I'm gonna play this fucking game. Ugh. It's not Monday, it's not the 15th. I think that those are complete lies. The world is a lie. <laughs> Oh, wow. I look, I, do you see these two options that we've got here? Do you see these two? Hang on. Um, by the way, I'm helpful, right? Like, I'm being useful to you. You're a lifesaver. I know I can count on you. I feel like I'm going to send the same message as is to Pebs and give him the same two options. You're a lifesaver, buddy. Well, that's a relief. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it is. What did we do the last time we were playing this game? I feel like I haven't played this game for like at least a week. Um, I think we were off in a direction. Maybe this way? Here we go. Welcome back, guys. It's September the 17th and glorious Thursday evening. I am enjoying as revisiting Pokemon... Um, son, on the 23rd of November, 2025. It seems like there is conflicting data. I don't know. We we'll need one more day. Twist, what day is it today, buddy? Twist would never lie. You. You've passed uh, Kiawe's trial. Well done. Okay, so that means you can ride on a Charizard. In that case, why don't I tell you about a great way to play with a Pokemon in your boxes? You ready for this? He hasn't even introduced himself. See, that is just question marks, and he's telling me how to live my life. Press X to open up the X menu, and then tap on the Poke Palago to take off. Okay. I'll be waiting for you and your Pokemon to visit. Uh, well, it's sad that the multiplayer integration of all that stuff is uh, officially over, I believe, right? It's Wednesday, the 32nd of December, 3024, mate. Oh, this is Firium Zed. Congratulations on clearing a uh, Kiawe's trial. In that case. I like a t-shirt. Where do I get me one of those? Here you go. You're free to pass. Captain Malau's trial is up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you'll find it. Lush jungle. Alright. I do want a Marowak. I should probably check. Uh, do we have Cubone in the Pokedex? How do I check this? Bronzley, Happiny, Munchlax. Uh, not on this page. Grimer. Dunsparce, Crabballer, Drowsy, Ghastly, Drifloom, Murkrow, Noibat, Spearow, uh, Flableble, uh, Cottony, Psyduck, Machop. Hmm. Mudbrim, Mareep, Iglypuff. Uh, did I skip it already? Maybe we can put it in alphabetical order. There we go. Doesn't look like um, I do have a Cubone. Hmm. It's an interesting way to display everything that I've seen so far. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? I see Marowak. A lot of Marowak. I don't see a Cubone. Um, in that case, I guess I'll just keep going and hopefully I'll run into one along the way. I guess I can look it up on Cerebi as well. 
I never got um, a Cubone in my original playthrough of Pokemon Sun. That's why I'm missing an Alolan Marowak in my living decks. Dates are so confusing. Why are there so many days? I have no idea. They just keep making them. Oh, that looks like it could potentially be a fight. What Pokemon do I have? Uh, Charger, Charger Bug, Pikachu. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, yeah, we got an Eevee last time we were playing from the egg. I'm gonna decide what to turn that into. <clears throat> we all need one day Christmas. What is it? The numbers keep climbing in my aura readings. Ah, Azadokin, I bid you a Lola. Hmm, this fine tunnel. It is the most fascinating to learn that there are a variety of construction methods made possible by the Pokemon that lend their aid to humans. Trial goers clear many trials. It is only natural, perhaps, that such a trainer would exude aura after coming into contact with so many totem Pokemon awash in aura. Oh, and you, young man, you seem to have even more Zed crystals than when we last met. Do you hope to master the Zed moves? Sure I do. Ah, not really. That wondrous light that appears when a Zed move is used. We once had such light in our world as well. And it was precious to us, even if we did not use it to battle with Pokemon. Uh, Captain Psycho, it is nearly time. While our technology is advanced, it must be modified to work to its fullest with Pokemon. We must go now to meet with a scientist who is versed in the ways of Pokemon. Or we will have no hope of achieving such a thing. It's kind of wild that they introduce like multi-dimensional shit in this one. Though I guess technically maybe Platinum introduced that to the Pokemon world. And like in Pokemon Arceus, you also got introduced like time travel. <clears throat> It's neat. I, it's very... I don't want to... This is not a, a negative comment on it. Like, I do feel a lot of these elements are somewhat f superficial. Which I think is fine. They don't need to break the mold or try something new or delve into it too deeply. They get, it, as an excuse to just make, you know, more interesting Pokemon show up. Would you like to show your Pokemon to them? Show her? Oh, they specifically want to see an Orangutan? Orangaguru or whatever? Wow. Okay, hang on. I want to know more about Ranguru. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. We don't have that, okay. Next time. Every day should be Christmas. But then Christmas would be Christmas, assumably, right? Not like I would know. I don't really celebrate Christmas. E. Peb, look at that guy's name. Isn't it a bit familiar? Wait, what? Whose name? Did I miss someone? Do we have a magic app? Yeah, we already do. Ah, it's nice to be playing Pokemon again. I think the audio could be used a bit higher, though. There we go. Ugh, not a ledge. These kids and these being outdone by ledges. Uh, to explain my username before Twist was a Psycho Giant. And that guy's was close to a dam. You were known as a Psycho Giant before? What is a giant part coming out of this? Assuming I just make um, assumptions about the Psycho part of it. Twister, you a big fella. Like you nice and tall. Why, hello, trainer. Looks like you've got a Pokedex on you. Why would you like to do... Oh, sorry. How would you like to do a little part-time work on behalf of the Ether Foundation? Absolutely. I love part-time work. Give me my Aerobite, though. We are at Ether 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 Foundation work to protect Pokemon through conservation. Right now, we are surveying the Gumi uh, that live in Lush Jungle. Foundation is collecting its own data, of course. But we would, love, uh, we would like to know what that data... Sorry, we would like to know what data the Pokedex records about them. So your job, if you should choose to accept it. Okay, yeah, go and get a Gumi, I get it. Oh, you see this Vulpix? It was bullied by Team Skull, and now it's scared of people. Fucking okay, assholes, look at that thing. Oh my god. Kerr, Vulpix is twitching its nose as if it's trying to smell you. Oh, that's the first time I've seen it go up to someone on its own like that. 
Maybe it senses something special about you. Oh, you're smelling Naga on me. Volpix seems to calm down when you're around too. Do you think you could come and visit us from time to time? Yeah, absolutely. I don't remember this story beat in Pokemon Sun. Oh, thank you. Did you hear that, Volpix? This trainer is going to help you out. Q. Shaking slightly. Aww. All right, Volpix, let's eat something. You haven't eaten a decent meal in a long time. Oh, I know. How about we all share a big malasada together? I think Volpix trusts you enough that you could get it. Sorry, you could get to try a malasada. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Oh, but you don't have a big malasada. You can get them at the malasada shop. Do you think you could pick one up? Oh, man. Absolutely. Yo, what the fuck are you trapping Pokemon in here for? How's that Meowth, like, kind of culling out of there? Ah! Haley, welcome in. How you doing? Yo, Deacon, welcome in. How you doing? Good to have you both. Ultra! 6-3, uh, damn! And I made it when I was in... Uh, sorry, when I was in 13, and I spelled it wrong, and people would... Just say it as Fisco, Fisco Giant. <laughs> Whoa, Twister, I had no idea you were so tall. That probably really helps in Minecraft when you when you did the thing, right? When you're building the thing with the face. It's so high up, you know? How you doing, Deacon? Good to see you too. With underscore, yep, yep, yep. And Debok underscore. Yo, Bok, welcome in, buddy. How you doing? Hey, Pebs with one B. Lovely to see you all. How are you all doing this fine Monday? You there. Oh, excuse me. I am a scientist. My name is Colrus. The theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. What brings out the power of Pokemon is... I believe that is the bond they share with their trainers, and thus my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself, trainers bound to their Pokemon through the power of the Zed Ring. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Azza is it, I'll remember your name. To commemorate our encounter, let me give you a TM. Sick. Why not? The One P is real! <laughs> Colrus, my beloved. Who the fuck is Colrus? I don't remember this guy. If you're able to utilize Flame Charge fully, you'll be able to have a great battle with the Totem in the next trial. The trial in the Lush Jungle. Alright. Zed Power. Is it the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the Mega Ring? Apparently, there are un uninhabited islands for Pokemon called Poke Palego here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, Azza, I hope you will excuse me. Oh, which game is he from? Black and White 2. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think I could make use of Flame Charge. Oh, I, I totally believe you. Yeah. I love he. Uh-huh. My Flame Thermal ran out of battery a while ago. Damn. Uh, I've had poor experiences with Flame Throws in Helldivers. I've had quite the curious request made to me by a couple of the most oddly dressed strangers. Oh, sticker. Apparently I gently peel that off. Professor Oak wants to talk to you. Zzz. Oh, well, hello there. It's me, Samson Oak. I see you've collected some Totem stickers. You should come by my... Uh, so stop by Here Here Beach. Alright. Uh, sky's the limit. Okay. All right, it's one of those beat everyone else first, and then I'll and then I'll talk to you. But until then, I don't want to know you. Hello. Geetus, Geetus, Geetus. Who the fuck is Geetus? Of course, you gently peel off stickers. If you pull them off, they would tear. Well, I guess if you pull them off too violently, they will leave that white residue behind, and I'm not a fan of that. Never been a fan of that. I've got some uh, video game boxes. I don't know what, if it was game or game station or like fucking CEX, but some of those stickers are so rough. Like whatever adhesive they use is just a pain in the ass to deal with. 
I should go to Macedonia and put a bunch of peb stickers around and see if Az or Spec will ever run into one. <laughs> Do it, pebs. <laughs> Cicada, but it's Pebs. Ah, Pebeda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, boy! Uh, I won't visit while I'm there. Just put stickers in. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be awkward if you just met up with us out of the blue. Why are you putting up the stickers? Hey, big pull. Sell that. Buy more balls. Uh, let's see what's in the grass around here. Ah, a ratata. Another one. Yeah, Deacon. This one, um, yeah, does not evolve. I mean, it's this is the second stage of its evolution, but it's taking way longer to get to its. Um, End goal than other bugs. I'm guessing because the last form is just so good. Yeah, it was Grubbin beforehand. Grubbin was adorable too. Brick bug. I, it's so cute though, isn't he? I love its design. What a great addition. Uh, around town is a bunch of stickers of the Autobot logo from Transformers, apparently. It's a gang sign, but I don't know how true it is. They made it a gang sign? It's fucking Transformers. What are you doing? You gotta find Pebs through stickers. Pebs won't find you. <laughs> How many stickers do I need to form a full Pebs? If I get like five stickers, do I get a Peb foot? Is that enough for a Peb foot? A million at least. God damn it. Why have I become an underground cave sticker goblin? The stream. I have no idea. I'm okay with it though, if you are. I did to myself, but I think I need to sleep. <laughs> oh, I don't have a salandit apparently. Wow, that did damage. Oh, that's probably why I don't have one. Hmm. Yo, Haley, thank you so much for the five stream streak. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know how, but my streak broke with you, and I'm convinced it's just not fucking gonna work for me anymore. I made it a point to be in your stream and have it on in the background, even when I was streaming at like uh, 480p, but it, 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 I don't, I don't fucking know what's going on. Uh, bite. Yeah, I don't need helping hand. Oh, Swift, sure. Um, I mean, what's the difference between Swift and Quick Attack? This is this one just never misses, right? But Quick Attack is fast. Oh, it's physical. Uh, and Eevee is a physical attacker, so I'm just gonna give up on this. Uh, let's switch. Get Pika P back in here. Uh, does anyone know how to get the Alolan Raichu? Is that just a thunderstone while you're in Alola? Will that do it? Uh, I think it's around places that are where they hang out. Mine, this was years ago. Oh, hang on. I just missed that. Every time I scroll up, um, it automatically throws me down. It's very annoying. I think it's around places that are where they hang out, mind. That was years ago, so probably rumors. Or that they aren't a gang now. That's just ridiculous. If you're gonna be, if you wanna, look, if you're a, look, listen. If you're a gang, if you're a gang and you're listening right now, you make your own fucking logo, yeah? How do you want me to respect you and take you seriously as a gang if you're gonna fucking rip off the Transformers logo? Fucking gang signs. Good luck navigating through the tunnels. I'll stay in the safety cove like a housewife. <laughs> Stream streaks generally seem like a, a less than polished function. I know, Deacon. I was hoping by this point, um, I mean, they've probably been doing something in the background with it, trying to make it more stable, but I know it's finicky 
for people at best. I want to know how much your development gets slowed down with trying to make things compatible with the, uh, the phone app. Because I'm not a big fan of the Twitch phone app. Oh god, it's scrolling again. Hang on. Uh, ben, do you also have this hail? Yo, is it hailing where you are? Maybe um, I'm in the back <laughs> of work. Uh, I got a message at like 8 p.m. last night saying I should join your stream to get my five stream streak, but you weren't streaming. Oh, if it was yesterday at 8 p.m., I was doing a very long stream yesterday. Maybe it just kind of delayed, notified you. Maybe it was surprised. I uh, took te headphones off and I can I can hear it. Huh. Regular ride you, I think. Fuck, how do you get the Alolan one then? You tell I'm just saying, Twist, it's a f kind of fucked up, isn't it? Oh yeah, our our gang sign is the Transformers logo. Like fucking get out of here. What are you doing? You're missing part you're missing part of this part of what? Oh wait, hang on, I need to kill this thing. Oh hey Diesel, welcome in. How you doing, man? You can't even find as many peb sticks in the wild uh, that you'd be able to evolve a Pikachu. <laughs> Autobots roll out. My gang logo is hem, baby. This is where you plug your commissions. Oh, shit, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, that's right. Listen, gangs out there. Let me take this back. Listen, I, I'm fully supporting you ganging your up. Listen to me. If you need an artist to help you out with a logo, I am now accepting commissions. Just hit me up. I'll sort you out a new gang logo. There we go. Thanks, Deacon. I can't believe I missed that opportunity. Almost missed that opportunity. Almost. So, D Diesel, if I get enough stickers from Peb stickers, do I just, like, slap them on the Pikachu to evolve him? How does it work? Uh, it was my APM, though, which is, like, I assume really late for you. Ah, oh, fuck. I did do, um, like, a 10-hour stream yesterday, but, yeah, it wouldn't have been uh, hours that you usually don't see me on, you know? Any gangs in chat? <laughs> oh shit, did that not work? Hang on. It should have worked. Oh, did I spell commissions wrong? Shit. Is it not double M? Fuck. Hang on. Oh god, thank god it is. What is what is commissions with the one M? Doesn't exist? Fantastic. I'll have to make sure that that also pings the same thing. Give me a small heart attack then, Pebs. You're trying to get a Pebichu? I'll take a Pebichu. Is it as adorable as a Raichu? I think you slap your Pikachu in order to evolve it. Oh my god. Uh, it's not good as it looks. I feel that all the time. Wait, what, what, about what the spelling? I'm confused what it was wrong now. Is it healing where y'all are? But I haven't been subject to hail snow in a long time. The hill is gone, right? Pika! Might just run away from this one. Yo, when did Pikachu take so much damage? Does it still rain like once a week in the UK? Or did you sort that shit out? Uh, I'm trying to avoid these people until I can get somewhere that I can heal. I'm gonna just switch my Pokemon. We'll do it like that instead. Uh, has Ash never slapped his Pikachu? I'm pretty sure the Pikachu has slapped Ash. Does that count? Yeah, so if you haven't noticed, I can spell... Uh, to, <laughs> I can't... I can spell to say... Oh yeah, I see what you did there. Yep. Can't. <laughs> Fuck six. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, Twist. I've never been good at it either. It's fine. Hey, Yasuyuki-san. Konbawa. Or maybe Konnichiwa. I'm not sure what time it is. Genki. It is, it's the Pikachu. I should have evolved Pikachu during the last episode. I should have evolved Pikachu when he went up against, uh, what was his face? Lieutenant Surge. That should have been a Raichu off. Who's this fella? 
Oh, okay. Yep. Should be a center just over here. Hey, hey, uh, you ever heard of the Festival Plaza thing? I guess it's like festival or something where lots of people get together and have fun. You, I can tell you've never visited Festival Plaza. No worries, I'll teach you how to visit. I just heard about it for the first time too. Let's see, I think she said, yeah, you're supposed to not be... I know, I know this. I deliberately didn't want to go there. <clears throat> All right, okay. Well, I guess we're here now. Welcome to Festival Plaza. I'm... Sophocles? That's a big uh, drift blim thing. This is a secret place where you can come to play using communication features. We're holding a festival where trainers can interact right now. Yeah. So I'm going to skip through some of this stuff. Well, when I say some of this stuff, I'm going to skip through this whole thing. I don't really want to interact with this right now. <sighs> I know this is like a... Um, they're showing you offline. This is like a tutorial, basically. You talk to this fella, you recommend where to go or something like that. Let's have a chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A 2FC. That's great. The mood has went up. You crushed it. Yeah. That's great. Lottery shop. Yep. Yeah. Bouncy house, yep. Oh, that one looks sick. Haunted house, that actually looks pretty cool. Food stall, oh, actually. We do need some malasada. Hmm. RIP uh, Festival Plaza, yeah. You look like the kind of dumbass that hasn't visited Festival Plaza. I know. I wonder what the insinuation there. They look at you like, you clearly haven't been. You definitely don't look fussed enough for life. I cannot believe they think it's okay to make balloons off Drift Bloom. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, kids, grab onto this balloon as a friendly and cool. Oh yeah, I beat Yakuza 5 last night. Hey, GG's found out. One of my favorite stories from the game is people's most disliked part of the game. Ooh, that's interesting. That just means you're based. Uh, don't Drift Bloom steal kids or something? Yeah, Drift Bloom's specifically, I think, in their Pokedex entry talked about them coming around and stealing children. I don't really care for any of this. Sweet. Rank up! Uh, yeah, that maybe it's accidental because people keep trying... Sorry, tying them up at festivals, I mean. I don't think they'll be a huge fan of that, yeah. Oh no, I told my kid to hang out with this giant balloon, and it flew away. It's a balloon's fault, yeah, yeah! I'm, I'm convinced it's a fucking conspiracy now. We're not open yet? Well... I'm just gonna leave then. I never did interact with this very much, even when I was playing Pokemon Sun when the stuff was up. It was a little bit too much for me. I kind of liked in uh, Pokemon XY when they first introduced communication stuff. It was kind of... There was stuff stuff you could do on the bottom screen that was more involved, but in terms of just connecting with other people, it was kind of... Like... Not mild, subtle. There wasn't too much to do other than just see people nearby and like throw out a random request to trade. I'm sure this was great though. Like, seemingly they put a lot of effort into this. And I know there's probably some sort of... Um, the word. Uh, please let me go. There's probably some cool items or gifts that you could get if you interact with this long enough. You've been waiting for me, yeah? Your receptionist. That's great. I'm just gonna skip this. Make balloons that look like drift blooms? Nope. Drift blooms are just bad parenting and that head cannon will never change. Also, this is my first time hearing that balloon Pokemon exists. Uh, existed. Well, Jigglypuff, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Balloon Pokemon. Is that how it refers to Jigglypuff as well? Like electric mouse for Pikachu. Is it just referred to as a balloon? 
Uh, black and white was a good version of that stuff. Like, it had a tree that would grow and stuff. Make me want to go make for more. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. The end tree was weird. I don't think I, um... But it had goated powers. Yeah, I like the, um... I think in X and Y they had that as well, where you could just give abilities to people as they were playing. Like, additional stuff. Smash Bros. Jigglepuff floats around balloonishly. Oh, yeah, for sure. It definitely does. All right, let's heal up, talk to all these people very quickly, and get out there. The best part of the online in this game, I think, was the trading system where you could ask for stuff you wanted or search for a Pokemon you wanted to trade, and they removed it in the other games, but kept it on Pokemon Home and Mobile. Huh. I didn't know they removed it in the other ones. I remember that being a system, though, in some of the earlier th uh, DS title, I thought. Of Platinum, the mining, that was awesome. Oh, I was a big fan of the mining stuff in uh, Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think it's a little bit grindy and tiresome, but I like the idea of it. Ah, I don't have an Arbok, I'm sorry. I should drink. I should drink. Where is my water? No, I don't want that. Damn it. Hang on. Ah, cheers, Tulls. Oh, hey, Cultus, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Jigglepuff is indeed known as the Bloom Pokemon in the Pokédex. Yeah, that's what I meant. Awesome. How you doing, Cultist? Fucking nailed it. Uh, the GTS was introduced in Gen 4, the whole requesting Pokemon thingy. Ah, along with the whole global communication promotion for the game. Right, 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 right. It bothers me so much not hearing Snake after the Hydrate Redeem. <laughs> In due time, I should make it a companion one, maybe. Uh, we wanted... Oh, we can't get Malasada from here? Damn. Where do you get the Malasada from? Does anyone know? Oh, please. Another person is talking to me about it. I don't care. Yeah, okay. Yeah, great. Yeah, okay. All right, did we heal, or did I just come here and talk to people? I healed, I think, right? Yeah, we did. Let's get out there, hit a few more people in the head. From the Malasada shop. Was there a dedicated Malasada shop in maybe the place I just came from? I'm doing all right, man. Having um, so free time, so hanging out here while I finally play Three Houses. Oh, that's awesome, cultist. Have you played Three Houses before? Yeah, right, yeah, cheers, cheers, peps, cheers, peps. Hey, Perbok, welcome back, how you doing? Nope, first time I ever do, Oh, please enjoy your time with it. I quite like three houses. Uh, what is this thing again? I think it's fairy type, which I don't think is fussed on psychic, but I'm not even sure, I'll put it asleep. Is it meant to be that brown in the uh, the arms? Why does this um, stuff all look weird to me? That was supposed to be black. It had a physical attack on it as well, which I'm not happy about. Why did that do so much damage to me? Oh, whatever. Let's just bug it. How far are you into it, by the way, Colter? So you just started it today. Uh, Azzy, you gonna try the Fallout 4 next gen update? I didn't even know they did one tools. I didn't get very far in um, Fallout 4, which was a shame because I played a lot of Fallout 3. I'm good, just EP, yeah. I'm with you, Perbot. Everyone in this game trying to be helpful. In Gen 1, there is a guy tricking children to paying 500 gold for a magic app, I remember. In Gen 2, there's a good try guy trying to steal, sorry, sell you a slow poke tail for max cash. Uh, the games have changed so much, they really have. I think the biggest change in that kind of way, Deacon, is like your um, quote-unquote rival, right? Like at the beginning, it, it really felt like a rival in the antagonistic sense. They would choose your elemental weakness and they would like have moments periodically where they would show up and be kind of snarky in some kind of way. And now they're just like 
a happy go luck person who chooses a weaker Pokemon to you. Uh, Three Houses is a favorite game ever of mine. It's a fantastic game. Really good game. Comes out 25th of April. It's free, I, be uh, I do believe. I looked yesterday, 220 hours. Damn. Very early still, only did like three combat encounters. I was unsure which house to go to until I met Ferdinand. The energy in that dude is contagious. He was the ginger fella, right? It's been a while since I played it. Von Eger for a champion. <laughs> yeah, well, the first time I played, I think I've mentioned this before. The first time I played um, Three Houses, I had to go with the ethnic minority group, you know, representing. So I went with the um, the Golden Deer. Uh, I would like to continue my playthrough of the Blue Lions. That's the second thing that I try to do. I just, I kind of got burnt out. I put a lot of hours into my first playthrough. The game is very good about tailoring what you want to spend your time on. So if I really wanted to, I could like just focus on the story and ignore everything else. The game is pretty good at automating things that you, if you don't want to faff on with it. But every time I get in there, I just can't help but want to do everything. And then just burn myself out all over again. Well, I was kind of ready for... Um, Engage, Fire Emblem Engage, because I felt like it was a way to kind of wipe the slate clean and just try something afresh. And I like that it was pulling back a little bit with the social stuff. I figured, you know, be less mechanics for me to get caught up in. But overall, I thought, especially in comparison to Three Houses, Engage was a bit of a disappointment. But in terms of mechanically, gameplay-wise, it's fantastic. But the other stuff around Engage, I didn't find nearly as, um, what's the word? Engaging. I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. I it, I swear to God, it, that just came out accidentally. I, it just was not as engaging. God, I just did it again. I'll stop. I've much enjoyed the new Fallout series, in my opinion. Wait, you're talking about the TV show, Diesel? Because I have not seen that yet. R.I.P. Billy? Edelgard or nothing. Hey, Pepper, how's it going? Edelgard I was saving for last, you know? I'm, I don't want to go into spoilers or anything, but after playing the first playthrough, I was like, okay, Edelgard's going to be the last one I, I, I deal with. In Fallout 4, I got until someone told me to build a teleporter, and I didn't feel like finding the item, so I dropped. There is a lot of building in that game. Like, it feels incredibly slapped on, even though it's quite robust and there's a lot going on there. I was playing on console, which I feel like probably didn't help with the way that that felt. Um, but I felt it was just a bit too much going on in a way that I wasn't engaged. I don't know. I get bothered if I don't do everything. I, It depends what it is, but I'm kind of the same way, Cultist. I want to engage with as many of the mechanics as I possibly can. It's my own fault when, if I don't enjoy it, I should just drop it and move on to the next thing. And it depends on the game. Sometimes I can do that, but most of the time, in the fire, if you're using Fire Emblem Three Houses as an example, I want to do everything. And you got like 300, 400 hours uh, of game ahead of you. Yup. I can't name any other engaged characters other than Ivy and Zelkov. Zelkov was pretty sick. There were some decent characters in, in, you know, in that game that I thought were kind of fun. I just... Zelkov was awesome, yeah. Big fan of Zelkov. He's my follow message. Oh, that's cool. I thought I recognized it. Is that everyone here? Right, I do want to go and get the Malasada. Do, uh, where, where? Maybe the place I came from had the Malasada thing. Uh, how do I pull up... Um... No, not you. Um, this one? Charizard! Right, and I need to click on... That again. Let me go back the way I came. It might be one at the park that we came from. Oh, is that right, Pips? Did you end up finishing Engage then? Because I never finished it, unfortunately. I feel like I was getting close to the end, though. Is it worth finishing? I wonder if this place sells it. I don't think they do.
Ah, this doesn't look right. Oh, Malasada. Um, sure. You're pretty good. Oh fuck, we have to give it to a Pokemon here. How do you buy a Malasada to go? Hmm. Oh, there we go. I hit the last level and the ending is kind of forgettable. PB also dropped the difficulty for the final level just so he could get it done. Wow, okay. That's not a good sign. <laughs> This way. Oh, pants. Shit, it's a dude with glasses. Quick, hide. I think at this point, if I was to do Fire Emblem, I would probably do three houses again. Do the other routes. And then do the Warrior game. Really want to do that. Or, I finally go all the way back. To complete uh, Path of Radiance. I never finished Path of Radiance. Um... Yeah, it looked super effective. Ugh. Slowpoke is so weak. Might help. We will see. It just look like Tyrone, huh? Uh, what about uh, playing Persona instead? That's a distinct possibility. I am, I am afraid of streaming a Persona game. I put a lot of hours into the Persona games that I put in, and they are not short games. The first FE game that I played, Cultist, was uh, Sacred Stones, which I think was a Game Boy Advance game, I think. Oh shit, I didn't see what he was throwing out. Um... And I played that through to completion on the, um... I think I had it, I, I played it on the DS at the time. Ah, bollocks. This is, this is a rock. Um, ah, yeah, buy it. Uh, same, I'm so scared to play Persona. Yeah, I mean, I started Shin Megami Tensei 5, which I did play a little bit more offline in my own time because I really enjoyed it. Um, but it was meant to be my, like, offline stream game that every now and then I'll do a stream of. And I was enjoying it for the most part. But they are really big games. Uh, is Sacred Stone the one with Lin? Lin, I think, was the one bef one of the ones before that. I want to say that Lin was original um, Fire Emblem... The one that came out in the West, I mean, like the first non... Uh, it was just Fire Emblem on the GBA, I think. Oop, wrong button. <clears throat> I think my favorite word of the European English uh, dialect is bollocks. <laughs> Persona is great, although I, end, uh, I ended up burnt out. Yeah, it's a lot of video game. It's not uh, Persona's fault in that regard. Like, Persona doesn't do anything wrong, but it's a lot of doing the same thing for that many hours. Persona games are massive. And there's other games like that, which I'm not sure if I will be a streamer for, but we'll see how things go. Like, the Tales games, I play a lot of Tales games as well. Um, or, you know, at least I used to. And uh, those are very big games too.
But it's possible. I mean, I did like, what, 20 streams of Final Fantasy VII to get through it? I'll come back tomorrow? Sure. Might be next week, but yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we did that. I keep pressing down the, to pull up the thing. Okay, I'm going to have to change that in the shortcuts. Give me a second. Um... There we go. Like, my logic for Charizard is, like, go up in the air. There we go. Fire Emblem is a great series, though. Oh, sure, kid. I don't think you're supposed to be borrowing other people's Pokemon, but let's see how this goes. Someone remember that? Uh, you don't know how relieved I felt when seeing I was on the last dungeon at the 30th hour mark on OG Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, man. Can you imagine 30 hours to complete a JRPG? I think I have done enough work today. I might continue to watch Fallout. Hey, how deep you into? How many episodes you in, Tolls? How big is this? Uh, is the um? Oh shit! Slow pork needs switching out. What am I doing? How big is the season? Yeah, he's gone. I think I'm on episode 3, 4, so about halfway, gotcha. We won't heal your brother's Pokemon up before you return a kid. No, my big bro's Pokemon. Well, I wish we could heal ourselves. Hey, you. Uh oh. Oh, no. Big bro. You brought my Pokemon out again without asking, didn't you? I'm sorry. And it looks like you got soundly defeated too. Yeah, but all your Pokemon are super strong, big bro. I don't get why. Even if they have potential, if you don't let them fight properly, Pokemon can't unleash their full power. You can only understand how strong your Pokemon are by giving them love and attention on a daily basis. If you want to win with borrowed Pokemon, you need to train yourself too. I always blame my Pokemon when I'd lose against friends. But that's what's been preventing me from really becoming strong. I'm going to spend more time with my own Pokemon. And I promise I'll beat you together with them, bro. Ha! I won't let you win easily. Wow, look at that. Sorry you had to get tangled up in this weird situation. Take this for your troubles. Oh, jeez, mate. That's... I think you just made it more awkward by giving me a berry. Okay. I haven't done any work today, but here I am, on the clock, learning about chickens wearing Lucha Libre masks. <laughs> Glad to be off service, Deacon. This is the best way to absorb information, in my opinion, dude. You're in good hands. Love, attention, and a steady supply of dr I mean, rare candies. Uh, how far have you managed to get through 14? Oh, you know, I think if I booted up 14 and paid for another month, I'd probably be spawning in your crib. So not super far, unfortunately. But I did like your crib, and I do like the fact that that's where I'm currently at. I know where Pepper. Thank you for the look. Or the burb. What is this place? Did I heal my Pokemon? I'm like barely paying attention to what I'm doing. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's a vending machine for you. 
No vacancies today? Alright. Peppa goes brr. <laughs> I have to go pick up my uh, my dad from work. Gotcha. Have a good one. I'm a big fan of Kitty. Hey, Clove. How you doing? Get out. Wait, what? That was it? Get out. Get out. Get. I think this guy wants us to leave. Oh, hang on. Do we, can I sit on this chair? Oh, I can't sit on the chair. Sit on this. Yo, when did they take out the ability to be like able to sit on anything? I thought in X and Y we were able to set on all sorts of bullshit. And this one you just can't. Kind of lame. <laughs> Fuck did Pepper go? Was there ever a Pepper here? Or was it always just smoke? Is, that, is he going to hit that Pokeball? Oh, we saved the dive ball. What the fuck was going to hit it? When it comes to golf or Pokemon, it's all about the performance. I'm glad that's the way that end, that sentence ended up. No sitting 0 out of 10. I know! The people demand sitting. I loved randomly sitting on shit in the other Pokemon games. How would you not bring that forward? Why would you not program that in? Why would that not be your priority? Hey, I'm okay. How are you guys doing? Yeah, doing all right. Um, Yeah? No, I don't know. I'm still a little bit peckish, to be perfectly honest, but I'm doing all right otherwise. Good to have you, Clove. I hope your Monday's going well. Oh, fine, I'll switch him out. Jeez. Get one of these off first. Meow. <laughs> Alright, then we switch to um, some electricity. Pikachu's a bit weaker, let's do that. Poika! Oh wait there, did we establish how you evolve a Pikachu into a Lolan Raichu? Do I need to like throw him into the water or something? Charge beam, 50, 90, what's this one? 40. Okay, well, charge beam it is. Oh, the peb sticker's right. Shit, okay. Do I need to, like, completely cover the Pikachu in peb stickers? What a miss. My performance was absolutely terrible. I'm devastated for you, mate. Just getting the ball in the hole, dot, 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 it's fun because it's so difficult. Okay, now this is meant to be for kids. Ah, oh, shit, not you two. The swing is all in the hips. I'll put my hips into it when I take you on. The fuck are we playing? Oh, it's not do. What a fella. Uh, is not too psychic bird? Is that what he is? I'm not sure what he is. Be a dark bird. I want to say he's a psychic bird. He's definitely part bird though, right? From critical hits? Interesting. There's a move to um, protect you from critical hits? That's kind of neat. Psychic burp, sweet. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> it's Pikachu! It's Pikachu. It's no, it is. It is. It is. I can see it. Yo, straight up though, and I'm sure all of you who have ever played Pokemon before have considered this. If Pokemon was realsies, or you were stuck in the world of Pokemon, who would be your partner Pokemon? Oh, 
It's feel. <laughs> Just the round boy. Oh, I should keep saving. Uh, why? We don't have a fire Pokemon. Hmm. I know we have to be over there. There's a patch of grass over here, and there's something here as well. Oh, it's a thing? Oh, the fossil place. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fellow outside mentioned. Wow, this is a very makeshift fossil thing. Dream Park, where dreams become reality and fossils become Pokemon. Someday this whole place is going to be filled to, with, to, to bus, bursting sorry, with Pokemon from the ancient things. Okay. But until then, I guess it's not. Oh, a sticker. <clears throat> Feel is one of uh, the Pokemon's best boys, it really is. Ivysaur would be my best friend. Ivysaur is a fucking beautiful Pokemon. Big fan of Ivysaur. I think I mentioned before, I actually prefer Ivysaur over Venusaur. It's my, it's my favorite, probably mid-evolution Pokemon. Because most mid-evolution Pokemon can look awkward, which I think is by design. But I think Ivysaur looks great. I think we already caught one of these. Fletchling is fire. Hmm. I mean, I guess Fletchling itself isn't fire because Water Gun isn't super effective. But I'm pretty sure it evolves into more fire. I guess it starts off as a normal type. Ooh, hello. Switch Slowpoke out. He just doesn't have, like, the killer instinct that I'm looking for right now in my Pokemon. Yeah, Bulbasaur's great, too. Big fan of Bulbasaur. I, I like Venusaur, too. I think Venusaur's great. But I think it loses something from Bulbasaur and Agasaur. I think I'd be happy with almost any Pokemon as a partner Pokemon, just for the novelty of having one, right? But... Um, oh. If I, um, if I could pick and choose, I'd probably want some sort of creature that could swim or fly. Probably fly. Flying press, what is that, a fighting move? Uh, the user dives onto the target from the sky. This move is fighting and flying type simultaneously. Whoa, I didn't know. That's cool. Shit. Um, NPP, what, what? Hang on, hang on. Dives down onto the target from the sky. Does that take two turns then? This move is fighting. 100 with 95 accuracy. That's so powerful. Yeah, okay. Didn't even get myself a single berry. What the fuck is it? This is not a water type. I forget. Uh, I assume in that case it's fighting. Because dark is not very good against it. Okay, so does that mean my confusion from Slowpoke would be good now? Sure. Yeah, I like his base evolution, this thingy. I don't remember the evolution thing. Oh.
I, since Pokemon, I think Arceus it was, I kept away from Pokemon reveals, like new Pokemon reveals. And I'm hopefully going to try to do the same thing going forward to the next releases of the game. Going into Pokemon... Oh no wait, Sword and Shield, I did it with that too. Going into the, the new Pokemon game relatively blind, like not seeing what the final evolution of the starters are. Or seeing what the new um, regional variants look like was actually a really pleasant surprise playing those games. Again, even the DLC stuff, when I was playing like Scarlet and Violet DLC, it was nice just to encounter what Pokemon they brought back as a surprise and what new things that they introduced. But that also brings a point like potential disappointment, right? Especially with your starting Pokemon. So, like, I, t I have a friend who, similarly like me, tried to avoid spoilers, but with the starter Pokemon, they insisted in seeing the evolution because, you know, with their logic, it was kind of like, I want to see what my final Pokemon is going to be at the end of it. I don't want to be disappointed by it. Which I think I get. And there's plenty to be disappointed by. <laughs> Sounds harsh. Yeah. Is this the one where there's that like that bug who's kind of skittish? Yeah, there he is. How do I get to him really quickly? Do I need to like sneak? I don't know how you like sneak in this. Can I just run into him with this thing? Was there a sneaking mechanic? I thought there was a sneaking mechanic, or maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Does he turn around? I need to come from behind. Maybe a powerful Pokemon could break it? You what? My Lapras is not powerful enough for you? Huh. It's what I try doing as well, going into Scarlet Blind. That was a fun experience. I think so too. I think it really helps. It's nice to come across stuff and be like, Oh, I wonder what this is going to turn into. Or I wonder what this is even. I really enjoyed it. I'm hoping to carry that forward into the other games. I'd choose Mimikyu or Guzlord. Holy shit. That's a... I feel like that's a spectrum right there, Clove. Mimikyu approved 100%. Fucking love Mimikyu. Merry Christmas. Cheers. I can never seem to escape this one. It always just comes back. Oh, look. It's a pair. Of, oh, wait. Should I have two Pokemon ready? Um, I'll go full electric here. Not very good typing, is it? Whatever. See if I care. I've got a star on my head. I know what I'm talking about. Spectrum of, dis of destruction. I like it. Yeah, Mimikyu was a wonderful addition to the game. One of the rare few Pokemons I don't mind on my team that doesn't evolve. Yo, Wooper, that's a shout. The Paldean Wooper or just straight up blue Wooper? Just Wooper. <laughs> oh shit, what am I doing? Oh, they're both fighting types? Uh, 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 uh okay. It's not great. Yeah, that's not great. Let's just see how much damage they do just hitting one of them. We are way high level. Oh, we'll be fine. Yeah, Whoop is pretty great. Blooper, am I right? Yeah, Bloop is great. I was very happy with the Paldean Whooper though. Big fan of it. I called it Cookie. I was very happy when he evolved too. Uh, yeah, Spark. Let's do the same thing again. <laughs> Call it Pooper? I'd rather not. I liked Cookie. I like it to be edible. Oh, he got an attack in. Uh, 
Clove, are you say are you, are you saying that if it wasn't Mimikyu, if it wasn't Guzlord, it would be Rouge the Bat? Someone should probably put Rouge the Bat in a Pokeball. Not this way. Oh, there's a circle on this. That means that there's it's it's something going on in there, right? Oh, never mind. I guess there's nothing happening in there. Is it still circular? Okay. Well, you know, sometimes it's 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 difficult to perform when people are watching. There we go. Thank heavens that we tried three times to get a Magikarp out of there. I mean, it's a level 24 Magikarp, I guess. It's nothing to scoff at. I couldn't... I, could, I couldn't get away. <laughs> Alright, Magikarp. That was a hell of a fighting drop of Magikarp? Yep. <laughs> That'd be pretty sick, wouldn't it? Oh, I guess it would be instant evolve, wouldn't it? Well, it's dead now. Yeah, here we go. So, am I coming from behind now? Yeah. Gotcha. Big fan of this thing. Uh, I don't want to kill it. I want to catch it. Um, what can I do that will not murder you? That bug bite shouldn't be too much, right? It's 60. 80. 65. Fuck, I think all these things would murder it. Um, let's switch. It's level 17. Let me throw a ball at it. Do you have any ultra balls? We do. Do you have a quick ball? We do. Let's try that. Shake for me, baby. Come on. Shake for me. Yeah, one more shake. One more. Ooh. Shiver down my spine. The <laughs> way it swims so cute. I always do enjoy buying the magic out in Gen 1 and carrying it through uh, Mount Moon and streamrolling Misty with a Gyarados. I always bought it too. Well, not always, but I remember doing that at one point just to see if you could. Big fan of Gyarados. Big fan of Magic Out. <clears throat> this is also Bug. Bug Water, man. We're kind of good for Bug and Water, but big fan of Wimpod. Wimpod is good. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Just looking at the map, there wasn't anything further left. I'll dip my toe a little bit further in, see what's over here. Oh, is this the trial? Are we already here? No, it's just the jungle area. Was the jungle area part of the trial? Ah, shit, I think it was, wasn't it? Um, should I buy some more healing items to make sure we can get through this? Trial goes for me, Malo. You ready to go into some hot water? Yeah, you know what? Um, hmm. Fuck it, let's just do it. We don't have any fire types, but we do have um, flying types. Sparkling stone straight from Tapu Koko, aren't you? I totally get it now. Okay then, here in Lush Jungle, it's time for Mallow's trial to begin. Hey spec. Ah, the breath of the dungeon. A dungeon? Jungle. I can tell just what today's special should be. Yep, it's gotta be. My special specialty. My secret specialty. The Super Malo Special. I'm going to need you to find three ingredients for me. I'll need a mango berry, some honey, and a big root. Here you go. I brought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients you'll gather for your trial. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, if you just tossed all the trial ingredients in your own bag, it would make something all right. Something like a Malo mess, I guess. Let's go and find the first ingredient right away. What the fuck is going on? Make up! 
Oh, thanks, Beck. Oh, yeah. Wah! Spider-Man. Wah, man. Jeez, those four mantis. I, I wonder if they could tell how strong you are. You can find mago berries around here. But you'll also find Formantis living here, because they love Mago Berries too. If you take a Mago Berry that the Formantis had their eyes on, they might not take it too kindly. When you're done gathering ingredients here, just let me know. Alright, okay. I guess I should uh, equip um, someone with, with wings, hang on. Make like quick work of them. Oh, I guess Bug is good against grass as well, isn't it? Mm. I assume because we're in the middle of a trial, we can't catch Pokemon, so I'll try to avoid the grass for now. You can only pick one up? I want this one. What was the difference between all this? Sweet scent. Huh. Sweet and sour scent. And then what, the last one was just straight up sour? Weird. I mean, I guess I want a sweet one. Sweet and sour sounds pretty good, though. So about the ingredient, you sure that's the one you want to grab? If any Pokemon had their eyes on it, you might be able to... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Let them attack, see if I care. As if they go there, they get pissed and then what? Stalk me? You can harvest honey from the flowers that bloom here in the jungle. But you'll also find plenty of flowers where, where Poco- sorry. Plenty of Pokemon where there are lots of flowers. When you find the ingredients you sure to- okay, okay. We're just looking for flowers. Oh look, it's um, what's his name? Kiawe? We'll say Pokemon are lured in by flowers and gather around them. Watch out when you see a bunch of flowers if you don't want to get attacked. Alright. I do want his Marowak. Uh, what classifies as flowers around here? Ooh, hello. I will take it. I like the little short bit of grass over here. Uh, are these flowers? Pleasant aroma. Will you take the honey from the loads of flowers? Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> Not really, uh, I don't really understand what this trial is trying to make me do. I don't think ultimately it matters. And this whole, like, it will come attack me later, like, okay. I still can't get over the fact that the, the, the little Pokemon pop up. Clearly there's plenty of flowers there. Wasn't happy that I took a couple. Is pissed and is now following me. A big root. You can find them near the trees deep in the jungle that that look kind of like Sudowoodo. Uh, but you'll also find that some of the trees that look like Sudowoodo are actually Sudowoodo. Good luck and watch out. Okay. I mean, look, listen, what we're doing. This one clearly on the right hand side. No, that's a Sudowoodo. That's a Sudowoodo. I I know a pseudo wudu if I if I saw one. That's a big boulder. There we go. Look, the feet are different. Now 
Nice to see the, the gym leaders around here as well. Whoa, no. Whoops. Hang on. Sorry. I thought I thought you pulled me. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Sure, that's the one you want to grab. I don't think we've got much of a choice, lady. Is someone gonna sniff this too? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Oh my god, I wonder if this was the beginning of like curry making that would happen in Sword and Shield. Let me check the ingredients you got. Cuckoo! Oh, what a villain! Let's go! I always think this thing is like shiny looking because the colors look so kind of weird to me. But that's a shiny. Look at that. Look it. He's fucked up. Watch out for him. He's foaming out the mouth. He just wanted his mango berry back. He had his eye on it this entire time. Oops, you went and took the mango berry that uh, Omantis had its eye on, didn't you? All right, then. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, let's carry on. <laughs> this is such a weird trial. Grubbin. Have a good grubbin, Purple. I kind of feel like grubbing myself. Is this the one you gotta look out for? Alright. I'll pluck this one too, just in case. I feel like, um... I don't feel like snacking on something. I feel like drink. What oh, drink I have I can get with flavor. I got like a bottle of water next to me, but I feel like I need something with flavor. Hey, Reyna, welcome in. How you doing? Good to see you. We're just making some sort of maroon colored curry. With one last pinch of my super special secret spice. Ta-da! The Super Mallow Special. It's all done and it smells delicious. A unique aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. I'm doing good. Had a good first day at work again today. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad. Snip, snip. Oh my god. Snip, snip. The colors, again, even the evolution, the colors look weird to me. Yo, Reyna, if, you, if Pokemon were real, in the real world, or if you were thrown into the Pokemon world, what would your partner Pokemon be? Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to pluck this one too. Oh, it's a bug attack, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I guess it wasn't super effective because he's part flying, maybe? Bravo! Not a comfy! Comfy came in and just did a number of my frame rate. Oh, you son of a bitch. I hope that's not like a reflect shield or something. Oh, wait, it's just him? Huh. You put both our defenses up? Weird. Refresh. What does refresh do? Normal type move. Use a rest to cure itself of poison, a burn, or paralysis. Huh. I'll just use an item. Ah, uh, yeah. Pluck this thing too. I do not know. I probably would try... Again, Eevee to evolve into Umbreon first. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I think last time we all talked about like our favorite evolutions. 
I think Umbreon's definitely up there for me. A big fan of Umbreon. like uh, Jolteon as well. I was thinking about Jolteon recently. I think I got one in um, Pokemon Sleep. I think Flareon gets a bit of a but not a bad rap, but it's just not as interesting to me visually as the rest of them. Synthesis, is that like just roost? Just heal yourself? Varies on the weather. Um... I'm not going to use Foresight. I guess I could do that. Um... Hang on. Hang on, I'm not pressing anything. Wait, wait. Uh... Would this be an Umbreon? If I let it be? It's probably an Umbreon, right? I think. I think if I let Eevee rock, it's just gonna become an Umbreon. Um, is that what I want? I don't think I need an Umbreon. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what else I could do. I don't need, um, my water type, I've got a Slowpoke, even though he's terrible at the moment, but eventually he'll be all right. Um, I don't need electric for sure. Um, Umbreon for night, yeah. I I was gonna go... I would like a fairy-type Pokemon, but I don't know whether or not I want Sylveon to be that fairy-type for me. Um, which I think fairy-type is just it evolving with a fairy-type move, right? So that could be a thing. I think it's just gonna be Umbreon. Fine. Let it be. Umbreon or Sylveon, I'll be fine with either, to be honest. There he is. That was very pretty. I was moon going, moon's going well, we just got an Umbreon. It lurks in the dark of night looking for prayer. At the moment it pounces, the rings on its body glow dimly but ominously. Huh, it's just like Naga. Yeah, Umbreon is very cute. Pursuit, yep, why not? The dark type move and we should, we might as well get them now since it's dark type. Uh, give me that instead of tail whipping. In attack, I think I'm less fussed on. Let me just double check. 60. The user approaches the target, disarmly, then throws a sucker punch. Oh, never mind. Maybe that's the one I want instead of this. Yeah, I do. I know Pursuit is better for when they switch out, but I think against NPCs, they don't really switch out very often. Umbreon is probably my favorite evolution. Always tried for one in um, gold, silver, crystal. But happiness was a weird mechanic in those games. Agreed. Yeah. I felt like it took forever in those games too. Wow, Azza, you're even stronger than I thought. You really drew the best out of your team. You even quieted down the... Th sorry, that Lurantis, the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. You battle your way through the Pokemon living here in the jungle to get me the ingredients I need. You and your Dartrix there make a fabulous team. Yes, even back at Wella Volcano Park, my Marowak didn't stand a chance. Nor did the Araquaqua Nid that I had trained so carefully. Well, looks like you've cleared all three of Akala's trials. An amazing trainer like you who even cleared my super hard trial definitely deserves this. Oh, it's green. Give it to me.
Or how does this dance work? You receive the Z crystal from Mallow, you obtain a grass type Z crystal. The Grassium, if you will. Let me show you how to, to use grass type Z moves. You go like this. Grass! Okay, here, watch me. Oh, I get it. You're like a tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like blooming. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, we get nest ball? Sick. I think different variety of Pokeballs is always a great reward. I'm pretty full right now. I just ate a berry. Yeah. And that food you cooked is suited uh, to Pokemon's taste buds, right? I think it's probably best to save it for when Milorantis wants some more. You think Olivia always says she thinks it's delicious. I think people would enjoy food cooked for a totem Pokemon too. Your guys is loss. Oh, it's Pokemon food? Well, I guess I'll just go take this to Olivia. Is that like the equivalent of eating like cat food and dog food? Should you not? Technically you could, but you probably shouldn't, right? Ooh, what's a smell? Sorry, that sweet smell I smell drifting my way. Could it be a tasty Mallow special? I heard you cleared Mallow's trial, yeah. All right then, I have a present for you. This little TM right here, right there, is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. All right, cheers. Yo, knowing Mantis, after we took out a Mantis Pokemon Club, what are you doing? Bro, I am the Mantis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there'll be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventures brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want to go check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get over there with extreme speed. I got a Mantis code name yesterday too, for real? Guess I should congratulate you on clearing the three island trials. Congrats, looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's Grand Trial. Olivia is an expert user of rock type Pokemon. You're gonna watch, so you're gonna wanna catch some grass type Pokemon in lush jungles at your team. Whenever you're ready for the grand trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah, but just ask Rotom if you need some help. I would like to go in there and see if there's any of the Pokemon that we can catch. Uh, I would like to look up also, if no one knows off the top of their head, how and where to get a Cubone in all of this mess. I would like a Cubone. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a, it's a Steeny. Is Steeny like a mid evolution? It kind of looks mid. A, a Keyblade? I would love a Keyblade. That is cute. It is cute. Let's uh, Let's not kill it. I should go and heal. I forgot to heal. Oh, come on. It was a crit. God damn it. It's dead, Pebs. He has cool pink smoke. I'm sorry, Clove. I'll get another one. I'll get another one, I promise. We're going to heal. You, you saw, Clove, how much that attack did. It shouldn't have killed it. Uh, but he just critted, you know? It happens. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> At least uh, Pebs' uh, bloodlust has been satiated. Da-da-da. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Oh wait, I want this one. I want a sniff. Fancy a sniff, love. Clove, you were there. You saw. You saw the bullshit. You saw the bullshit. Oh, there's another one. This one's for you, Clove. Ah! If you squint, they're kind of the same. <laughs> what do you mean, nah? 
All right, what are we doing to this thing? I'm gonna chuck some grass at it. Not it, my boy. <laughs> what have they done to my boy? <laughs> He's an orangaroo. Yo, if a, sh a shiny orangaroo is not orange, I think they've done something wrong. I wish you would stop trying to squish me. Um, oh, we have some Ultra Balls. That's good. We should use one. Was that a crit catch? Oh my god. I've never seen it wobble twice like that. Is that how a crit catch looks in these games? You're like one of those parents that loses their kid's pet or something and replaces it with one that doesn't even look the same. <laughs> I think this is worse though. It's not even the same species. <laughs> Like, I'd still get you a hamster if the hamster died. It might not be the same orange-colored hamster, but I'd make sure that it wasn't a fucking guinea pig, you know? Alright, uh, Spark. What does Spark do again? 65, 100. These are paralysis. Oh, I can do that, I think. Spec just came out of the bathroom. It's a physical attack, which Pikachu is, actually. We don't need this, then. You know what? I'm gonna take this opportunity to go and hug Spec and uh, grab myself a drink. I will just quickly, quickly, very quickly, quickly. You won't even notice I'm gone. You won't even notice I'm gone. Here, hold this. What are we doing? Oh, we've got a combination of things together. Oh, we're friends. Oh my God, we're so friends. Oh my God. We are so friends right now. Oh my God. That is the best limit I've ever seen. You might want to... Fuck. Uh, just chuck it in. What the fuck? <laughs> we get the car. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> We're good. I think they can swim. You are? Well, Yo, now, they like, can swim! Swimming. They can swim! Uh, 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 fire. That's effective <laughs> in water. It's water, That's not effective Hilly. in water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he dropped a bangle. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, drop that pick up that equip that don't equip that move over there unequip that get your rpg out shoot it in the penis ah! fuck what is going on i'm back i have drink uh the spec has been hugged uh, and i even found my left sock things are looking up uh, we caught the Pokemon for Clove. Hey, Lonnie, welcome in. How you doing? Hey, where's my... Hang on, let me just put this sock on before I forget. I'm not a big fan of having just one sock. I think... Unless I got it mixed up with another Pokemon. There was a couple, uh, a kid and a father, uh, who wanted to look at an Oranguru. It's adorable. Right, um... Let's go and do that. Where's my controller? Oh, Lonnie, we were asking people, I don't know if this will be a very difficult question for you. If uh, Pokemon were in the real world, or if you were flung into the world of Pokemon, who would your Pokemon partner be? Uh, Oranguru don't get along with each other, so they're always engaging in battles of wits to decide which one is superior. Damn. Dratini, you're just straight up. You had that ready. Huh. Oh, hang on. What's that? Ooh. Okay, what else we got in here? Dratini is adorable. I like Dragon... I like Dragonite a lot, but I think I might be a bigger fan of 
Dratini and Dragonair, to be honest. Oh, we'll put this one in a ball too. Does Comfy evolve? I, I, I don't think it does, right? Ball. Oh, it did not take to that ball. Can we hit it with something to make it less... Oh! Yeah, there's two of them. Shit. Does this hit both? Ah, it doesn't, does it? Yeah, let's just see how much damage this one does. Oh, that's not bad. Wait, Razor Leaf should hit them both, right? Yeah, there we go. I've finally been wrapped. Oh, I like that zoom in. I guess I zoom out. That was fun. Ooh, okay. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. Try this again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey. Comfy yet. Yeah, it doesn't evolve seemingly. It picks flowers and sticks them to its body with fluids it produces. The aroma that wafts from its petals has a healing effect. Oh, it's a fairy type. Right, 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 right. Alright. Something here? Hey, we got a big mushroom. I know there was a item further down here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Big root. Yeah, I've got. I'm gonna go with the assumption that uh, this is gonna be full of fairy and grass type Pokemon. I don't think our Cubone would be here. One more encounter, see what we get. You're a pincer, though? I thought it was kind of dirty that uh, Scyther got his evolution, but I don't think pincer ever did. Although, I guess he did get a mega evolution. Should try quick ball again. Do we have another quick ball? We do. I have a shiny pincer in Pokemon Sleep, which I think is pretty good. Damn. Oh, this might kill. Yeah. Damn it. 
I know. Oh my god, Lonnie, I got a shiny Onyx the other day, and it's pretty good. Yeah, 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 I got a shiny Onyx. And I'm like thinking about using it. The odds the mo odds must be way higher in, in Pokemon Sleep than in other Pokemon games, right? Because I've got way too many shinies in that game. I was gonna complain about my general look, but I do I did start off with a shiny fucking Rowlet in this game, so. I can't say anything else for the rest of the year, at least. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. It's definitely not 1 in 4,000. Yeah, it must be higher. I mean, I know the encounter is very different from a traditional Pokemon game. Right, okay. I guess it's maybe not a known statistic. I guess I haven't looked it up either. I don't know what it is either. Alright, let's get on our way. Uh, let's do the thing first with the um, Oranguru. It's before I forget, because it's nearby. Um, <clears throat> there it is. I've been happy that lately I've been getting consistent, like, uh, master ranks, especially because of the events in Pokemon Sleep. Especially in the beginning area. The beginning area is quite easy for me to hit uh, double figure master stuff now. Depending on, I guess, the, the recipe and stuff. So I'm, I'm trying to go into other areas now. I still don't have access to the, the lake. I forgot the full name of it. Wow, it's a Ranguru. Yay! Uh, long ago, long, long ago, Oranguru knew a lot about Oran berries, so people started calling the Pokemon an Oran Guru. <laughs> wow, great! I get it. <laughs> is anyway? Is he talking bullshit? I should learn more about Pokemon. <laughs> I wonder if that translates well to the Japanese original. I assume it's still called Oran Berry. Must be, yeah. I, I have no way to disprove it, so... He wouldn't lie to his own kid. Oh, yo, we have another Eevee in here? Yo, when did we get this other Eevee? This AV does have baby doll eyes. We could do the Sylveon. Okay, you know what? That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Okay, first things first. Can we... Does this have an item? It must have a Soothe Bell or something on it, right? Oh, it doesn't have anything on it. Fuck. Yeah. There we go. I like my Umbreon. I'm probably going to use the Umbreon. But let, let's let's train up a Sylveon as well. Because I might start fucking with more Pokemon that are fairy types. Just so I can learn how to use the typing. Um, now what I'm looking for? I'm looking for... Soothe Bell. Do I have a Soothe Bell? Ah, I don't seem to have one. For some reason I really thought I had one. Um, oh, maybe I give it to the Pikachu, because it was a Pichu earlier on. Yep, there it is. Um, use, give, take, move. Oh. And then that Pikachu, do we have um, uh, a thingy to give it? Hang on. Um, I should put this in order. How do I put this in Not that button. The, ah, here we go, by type. Well, I think the... Uh, here they are. Grass, fire, water, fighting, normal. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have it. Um, might as well give the fighting to him. There we go. Um, water. Nah, I'm fine with that. Could give grass to um Yeah, you know, why not? It's it's Pokemon Sun Moon. I should probably, you know, 
use the Zed power stuff while we have him. Why not? It's the thing in the game. Let's try it out. I don't know which move I like better. Baby doll eyes or bite. <laughs> Both of which come pre-equipped, pre-programmed into my cat. My cat is a big fan of the baby doll eyes and the bite. Often at the same time. All right, we already did this section. Oh yeah, didn't he tell me that we're kind of done here and we need to do like the final trial of this area? Oh, sorry, mate. I was trying to touch your eyeball, not... Oh, God. Oh, was it not the eyeball? Listen, I just want to know where to go. Okay, there we go. Uh, All the way down here. Not that one. Not that one. This one, I guess. Wait, why can't I zip to there? Yeah. There, there, there. Um, okay, I guess above it. I can only fly to the motel. Weird. Okay, then I'll just, I guess I'll just head down. I thought you could fly to, like, any one of the regions. I guess I'm misremembering. But it's not too far from here. It's, like, down this area, I believe. Um, we were here beforehand, but from, like, the other angle. Oh, the lotto thing is active. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's lotto time. Here we go. Very exciting. Oh, it's... What is that? Star? It's an amazing power. You obtained two Roto Bargains. I love a good bargain. Roto Bargain is a power that cuts the prices of Pokemon Marts in half. Actually, that's pretty dope. Oh, shit. I guess the next time I'm going for, like, a shopping spree, maybe I'll buy a bunch of Ultra Balls. Diggler with a hat. Dun, 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 dun. Don't need another one of y'all. I would like that item over there, though. If I jump down here, do I miss out on it? Hmm. Bugger. Can we make short work of this? Let's see. I guess I could try out the Z attack. Not very effective. Cool. Uh, Bloom Doom. Ooh. What does Bloom Doom do? Depending on the original move. Sick. Let's go. Bloom Doom time, baby. Hey, well, welcome back, Purbot. I mean, you playful Lima, you. For once, it's a nice one, yeah. I do think that the um, Nightbot codename thing has favorites. It's never said anything bad about uh, Claw, for example. Oh god, look at this. That was a Bloom Doom. Oh, there's a kid here. Euphoric flamingo. <laughs> oh, God. Though, I think there was a phase, Clove, where it was doing you dirty, but I feel like you've come to an understanding with Courtney. You're a charger bug, mad respect. This kid's all right. Um, can we just do this again? I don't think we should. Wait, if it's a bug, can I just use... Look. Oh, it's only effective. I guess the part that's electricity? Weird.
How did you even do that, Purbot? Yo, who's that? <laughs> it's Pario. You never heard of our good friend Pario? Pibario? I haven't did coordinate in a hot second, hang on. My keyboard attached? Yep, that'll be the last time I use codename. I will now, for, for, forever I will be now known as Massive Newt. <laughs> Completely unscalable, Purple. <laughs> I will knit now while I watch you. Oh, that's awesome, Raider. What are you knitting? Don't feel any pressure to, to chat if you're busy knitting. <laughs> Massive Newt. <laughs> oh, God. He's left the charts. <laughs> it's one of those things from Shadow of the Colossus. Just in newt form. I do not need another bird. Thank you. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, we didn't get the item. There was an item back there, wasn't there? Like, here. Somewhere. Nugget. We've got a few nuggets. Um, no, 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 nuggets. The big pearl thingies. I should sell them. Wow. How did he not see me? I didn't know you could do that. I'm doing a shawl at the moment, and we'll go back to the sweater this evening. Oh, that's awesome, Reyna. Ah! I, you know, it's funny. I used to knit when I was much younger. It was, a, it was a skill at one of the like the breakfast clubs in my elementary school and I carried it over to secondary school and I did knit for a bit. I found it quite um, relaxing, but I never continued it past then. What does Z power synthesis do, I wonder? Check this out. I'm a tree! Sick. I'm just gonna leave. I just came here for the free heals. Uh, periodic Tyrannosaurus? Huh. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that club. It almost read it like prehistoric, but it was periodic. Like, you're not always a Tyrannosaur, just, you know, every now and then, periodically. I love knitting. That's awesome, Rainer. Cretaceous peri periodic. <laughs> I could do with a hobby like that again. I feel like a lot of my hobbies are quite uh, either physically demanding or like, you know, require a screen. I need something where I just like take a step back. Although I guess right now my hobby is full time taking care of Kitty when I'm not streaming. Mudbray. Mudbray's ground type. Um Might take a while, but we should give Slowpoke some experience. I do draw with a pencil. Uh, I do have like a little note, uh, a notebook, a little sketchbook next to my, um, I guess it's not a coffee table, but basically like a little stand next to my setup at all times. So whenever I have the urge, I open it up and I just sketch something in there. It's a slippery slope for me, Pebs, because if I start sketching something, I'll, I'll want to just keep carrying on on my, my graphics tablet and it'll snowball into something else. Drawing has become such a a work-related endeavor for me that it's hard to put it back in the hobby category at the best of times. It's not impossible, and sometimes I do get that urge that I had when I was a kid when it comes to drawing. But a lot of the time, there's like a lot of baggage that comes with me drawing now when it's my own thing. <clears throat> Streaming's definitely helped. Working on projects on my own, doing emotes, PNG tubers, uh, overlay stuff, doing art for myself, reconnecting in that kind of way has been really big for me. 
I was forced to knit for school once and I knit a black bob blob, stuffed it, uh, gave it googly eyes and called it coal. Oh, that's adorable, Purbot. You still have it? Whoa, a large scale trainer. I feel you, man. I feel most of my projects are done with the intention of this has to be a finished piece. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's very rare that I draw anything nowadays and I don't look at it and start, like, kind of breaking it down and critiquing it. As opposed to just drawing something and be like, oh, that was fun to do. Let's move on to something else, you know? It's sitting on my desk. It's lost an eye. Oh, that's adorable, Bervo. Can I see it? Can you share a picture? Oh, it's a Gumi. Someone, hang on, who won? The scientist wanted a Pokedex entry of Gumi. Will this count or does it have to be like a proper, a proper entry? Um, I assume it's dragon type, right? Um, Charger Bug has Bug, right? Yeah. Mm, same goes to Rainer as well. Rainer, if you ever wanted to share what you're knitting and stuff, I'd be very interested to see it. Might inspire me to get back into knitting myself. I don't know if I'd have the patience anymore now. Sylveon. We have Le Ferre. Uh, yeah, fine. Just bring it in. Chargeable can handle it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you wanted to slap it in the Discord channel, feel free. Uh, we have a hobbies channel, which would be uh, perfect for it. You can DM it to me if you want, just like directly, or you can put it into the um, the Discord channel server thingy for Bobby. Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> I'm glad I set that up. <laughs> I was just like, huh? I have, an, uh, I have a command for Discord? I was like, oh yeah, we probably set that up a while ago. That's good. Hype! Um, there's something there. How do I get to that? From the other way? Hang on. Like, is it from here? Oh, I think it is. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Brutal swing. I think I was like 11 or 12 when I made it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Did you did you send it? Let me check. Oh, that's adorable. Can I share this, Purple? Uh, usually if something's in the server, I assume it's fine to share, but you DM this to me directly, so I'm, I think it's better if I just ask first. Yeah? Okay. Hang on, let me just pull it up on a browser so I can share this properly. Oh, hang on, I need to move this out the way. Let's pop up on the uh, feed, I wonder. Uh, Legion, there we go. It's adorable. I like how floofy it is. I'm just trying to imagine where the where the other eye was. Was it, like, over here? Like, I'm trying to think of what, what angle this is meant to be at. It's hard to tell when it's just the one eye. <laughs> Okay, I assume that shared. I can't actually double check if that worked. No, it wouldn't have worked. Nothing popped. Hang on, we need to move somewhere. Um, let me put it on the other screen. No, that's not going to work. How do I need to do this again? Hmm. Give me a second. My shortcuts are different because I'm on a different uh, overlay. I don't think that worked, did it? No, it didn't work. Okay, I need to move over to this. Hey, there we go. There it is. <laughs> I 
Da 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 da. Excuse. <laughs> the rug is too red today. Honestly, the rug is fairly red. I'm not saying it's too red, Jeds. I'm just saying it's fairly red today. Yeah, I was just saying, I'm trying to imagine where the other eyeball went. That googly eye is perfect, though. It's so cool that you've, you've managed to hold on to this, though. That's really neat. Let me just move this back over here. <clears throat> I guess for future reference, I can try to make this overlay have the same thing. So usually I'm sat on my couch. And so I, when I'm trying to share something, I'm using the TV monitor, right? But today I am sat on my desk. So I'm going to do some work afterwards today. Try to reshuffle some stuff around. All right, let's head back down. I think I'm good here now. Hey, Grubbin! The Grubbin! I <laughs> see the line, Peps. <laughs> Which one? Gro oh, God. I imagine Peps just saying that completely deflated. With zero enthusiasm. Just going through the motions, you know? Wait, is this the right way back? Uh, I said I need to go south, right? Maybe it's just this way. I finished up Mallow's trial and ate down every last bite of that super Mallow special of hers. Oh, the Pokemon food. Boy, that was good enough to break the mouth. Huh? You heading to the Dimensional Research Lab? You just keep on going straight away this way. Maybe I'll catch you there. Later. Sick. Alright, let's go and do that, that story beat before we call it. It'd be nice to kind of wrap up this island. I think we're getting closer. It's like straight down here. Yeah, I can see it on the map now. Go, Nebby! Use... You splash! Pew? Heh. <laughs> I was just acting like I was Azza. Oh yeah, I fucking love it when my Pokemon splash. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. Seeing that pained me just as much as if I was the one being hurt. But if I could become as strong as How and Azara, then maybe things would be different. Pew? Oh. Oh, Azara, hello. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since we last met. There's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. How how were your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. Uh, it was no problem. Yeah, it was fine. Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of the Akala's Island trials? I suppose that explains it. The reason you look so content and understand... Uh, sorry, and understood by Dartrix there, I mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, Cap, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? Thank you for always being first. Earlier you said, kind of want to be grubbing myself too right now, huh? And I thought you said rubbing instead was about to add on it. <laughs> I would never, Jeds, come on. Oh god, that's terrible. Blue mystery broccoli Pokemon, it doesn't... Oh my god, it is like a, like a fucking space broccoli. I hadn't even thought of that before. Welcome in, Didi. How you doing, man? Just add it anyway. <laughs> I sent the pics per DM. Hey, thank you so much, Reyna. Would I be fine to, uh, to share that? Hang on, if it's in the thing, I assume it is. Thank you for being last, DD. How you doing, buddy?
Oh, you're a rainer. These are great. Hang on, I need to pull these up. It's okay to share? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hang on. Uh, let me just pull up the images. I can share them one after the other. Then we get the... Oh, the jumper looks so fucking professional. Oh my god, the sweat... Oh my god, when you said, like, knitting, I had a very different image in my head. I know this is knitting. But as in, um, I, I thought it was going to be like, I don't know how to describe it. I've seen hobbyist knitting before. I've done it as well, where it's not quite as flush. Um, and like the patterns are kind of basic. This, this is, this is good. Very good. Hang on. Uh, pull up. Which image first? It was this image first. Let me just throw my uh, overlay to the correct thingy. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So, did you do all of these socks? That's really cool. Like, you numbered them all as well? That's awesome. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this this looks professional. This looks so good. And, like, was it this one? Yeah, look at this! Like, you've got the different stitches through the thing. That's so cool. I like the, the thick one in the center. That's really neat. You mentioned this one's for your nephew, I think. Yeah, and again, with the middle thingy. That's really cool. I might have to start doing some knitting. Hey, Spec, what you up to? That's, this looks great, Rainer. Really good stitching. Check this out, Spec. Oh, wow. Hang on, let me show you this one. Look at that. Amazing. In it. It's really cool coat. This is oh. the one that they did for the hubby. What? That's handmade. And some swocks. Look at the swocks. Blankets for the nephew. Gotcha. Hooray! Oh, there's a hug. Okay. Spec is like poking me in my shoulder. Like, what do you want? What do you want? Hug. Almost done. Ugh. Thank you for sharing. Oh, was that Cap? You sent me something as well? Cap, what did you send me? <laughs> Thanks, Cap. <laughs> uh, I like Cap. Keep him coming, Cap. Oh, Cap. Tell Cap what? That I pooped the poop that looked like his... Spec wants me to tell you that she pooped a poop that reminded her of your PNG tuber. Like a pepper. Oh, it looked like a he pepper. Even had a thingy on top. Right. Yeah, it looked like a pepper. I just, you know. Are you saying his PNG tuber looks like poop? No, I'm saying <laughs> that my your poop, poop looked like looked like the PNG tuber. <laughs> it was an art piece. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> The funny thing is, I knew that's what she meant. There's no way she was gonna mean the other way. What the fuck's like? <laughs> we know what she meant. <laughs> Bless her. Thank you for sharing again, Rena. You too, Cap. Caps is one of the cutest PNG tubers I've ever come across. Ooh, hello. Have a good one, Rena. Enjoy the walk with the doggo. Over here? Oh. <laughs> Thanks to Spec for sharing as well. 100%. Thanks for sharing, Spec. So proud of her sharing her poop, uh, her poop endeavors. Go upstairs? Yeah, okay, well. Bling! Which floor would you go to? Um, the third, I guess. Hey there, honey. Oh, hi. Yo, who's this? This here is Professor Burnett. She runs a dimensional research lab, yeah. And she's also my wife, yo. Yo, Azza, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. 
Osmog in her bag, also unconscious. I don't remember meeting her. She must have been in the original one as well, because this is just part of the main story. I guess she doesn't pop up very much after this moment or whatever, but I really like her design. Yeah, mama, why papa? <laughs> hmm, no how today? Oh, uh, he's out doing his own thing. But he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like old Hala before him. You really think so? Whoa, ho, oh, well, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, How. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought Azadokin here because I wanted you to tell him about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole appears in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. They assume, or they've clarified, I guess, that it's just the single dimension that it connects to. It's not dimensions. Phew. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for its existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appear from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. I had no idea that that's why they were referred to as Ultra Beasts. I guess I must have forgot that detail. I didn't realize it was just because they were aggressive. But like I said, it's all legends and folktales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelves in the lab. Uh huh. That's cool. Uh, the Y is said like letter E, and it means and. Oh, Papa E, pap Mama E, Papa, like that. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I would wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog, so I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way, and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all. And then she even got her husband, Professor Kuku, Kukui, to lend me his, so his loft. I, I thought I was going to say soft. <laughs> his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to his own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. She's got a sticker in her room. I don't want any trouble, I just want the sticker. Ooh, I'm going to skip through this just so the game thinks I've done it. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Reddit, baby. We recorded several known uh, relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions. The book, you can find them on the bookshelves in this lab. Okay, fine, 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 fine. That's a slow poke. Is this not the bookshelf you speak of? Oh, ah! Uh, Palkia. Oh, I see. Palkia, Giratina, and Br Bronzong? Wait, what's... Wait, huh? That doesn't seem right to me. There was a man named Morn two years ago published his theory about Walter Wormholes. That's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like this combination of stuff. Sir, please stop talking to me about battle boxes. Being able to go to more places really makes it feel like you're growing along with your partner Pokemon, huh? It's pretty great. I see you're blocking my exit. How about that, Azza? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You finished all three of Akala's trials. Woo. And now comes the big match against Olivia, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all, here on Akala, the Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Connie Connie City. 
I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. Being able to go to more places really makes a feel- Didn't you already say this to me? Dude doesn't shut up. <laughs> oh my god, cap that first one. Isn't that from the, um... Fuck, what was it called again? The, uh, Hideo Kojima joint. Boom! Boom! Da, 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 da. Okay, we're heading out. Do we have time for that? What time is it? Getting on a little bit. Especially if my character's having moments like this. A crack in the sky, eh? So you made it through all the three captains' trial. Are you going to tell me again that there's a trial past the Diglett's tunnel with Olivia? I know. Have a good one, Cap. Thanks for popping in. I want to make a place named after me too. Uh, the Raw Tunnel. Like the sound of that? I bet you do, you cheeky little shit. Uh, let's explore Diglett Tunnel. Yeah, Diglett Tunnel. Oh, it's, we're right next to it. Oh, there's another sticker there. Hang on. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, do we need a heal? Or are we good just to run in there? We should heal. Oh, there's a thing outside. Whoa, what shop is this? Okay, you know what? I'm going to explore this place, get the sticker, save up, uh, and I think that's probably where I have to call it. I can see Kitty being a bit feisty. Oh, it's about the Mantine surfing stuff, sure. Go on, do that. Oh, hang on. What do you got? Okay. Uh huh. All right. Thank you for joining me, people. Uh, I had fun with Minecraft. Shout out to uh, Wills, Pebs, Cheese. Uh, for joining me in there. I'll be back on... Um, not sure about tomorrow. Nothing scheduled for tomorrow. But definitely back on Wednesday to continue some Gears of War with Haley. Minecraft. That's the one. Yeah, a little bit of a Minecraft on me Mondays. 